Good afternoon, Lapeer. I'm here to discuss with you today a really important event coming up in Lapeer Community Schools relative to the non-homestead millage renewal that's taking place on November 5th. Every five years, local communities are asked to renew this millage, and it is a tax on non-homestead, a commercial business and rental property in all small communities, in all communities across the state as part of Proposal A. Uh, this represents $6.1 million in funding for Lapeer Community Schools, roughly 13% of our overall operating budget. So this renewal vote is very significant for the future funding of our district. Um, this is a tax on non-homestead commercial business or rental properties uh, in, in our town and not a tax on homeowners that use that home as their primary residence. So uh, this is a really important uh, opportunity on November 5th for uh, our community to come out and vote on this. We encourage you to tell your friends and neighbors about it. Should you have any questions about what the renewal looks like, um, please contact uh, central office. Uh, you can either ask for me directly or our assistant superintendent for business services, Mr. Kevin Rose. We'll be more than happy to take your phone calls directly. Um, um, another point of concern for some folks, um, asking why this is called an increase, a millage increase, and every time that this authorization renews, it automatically goes back to zero. So asking for any millage rate above that has to be characterized as an increase. So the ballot language we know can be confusing. Additionally, we've asked to authorize 21 mills, even though we're only legally allowed to levy 18. That's to account for the 1979 Headley rollback, um, which can be up to three mills. So we authorize 21. Should they authorize or should we experience a rollback, it would reduce to 18. This prevents us from having to hold a special election should we only achieve 17 mills. We'd have to go out and, and have another election to levy that additional mill to get to um, our 18 requirement. And that would be at a significant cost to the district. So we authorize 21, can only legally collect and levy 18, and can't go beyond that. So those are just a couple things to keep in mind as you're considering this ballot proposal. And again, we ask that you spread the word. Uh, you can visit our district website to receive more information, or as I said, contact us directly. So November 5th, uh, get out and vote and spread the word.